Hey there everyone, this is Jade Rahman from Axion Soft and welcome to your second computer graphics video on rasterization. In the last video, I explained to you what is rasterization and I also talked about the different algorithms that we'll be learning through this course. Now, today I'm going to be talking to you about the basic incremental algorithm, otherwise known as the BIA. Okay? Now, this is a line drawing algorithm. Now, in order for this algorithm to work, we need to satisfy three different conditions. Number one, the pixel grid has to be an integer pixel grid. All right, now what the hell does that mean? Now, suppose this is our pixel grid, okay, where the vertical, I mean, excuse me, the horizontal direction represents the x-axis and the vertical direction represents, of course, the y-axis. Now, when I say an integer pixel grid, it means we can identify or locate each and every single one of these pixels through an integer value of x and an integer value of y. Now, suppose this pixel over here is identified by the coordinate 4, 4. So the next pixel to the right would be 5, 4. And the next one would be 6, 4, and so on. Okay. Similarly, if we go vertically upward, we can identify the next pixel as 4, 5. And the next one to be 4, 6. And on and on and on. So this is what an integer pixel grid means. The second condition is that the slope has to be less than or equal to 1. Meaning, if we are given to draw a line, say, that starts from x, y, and ends at x1 and y1, then we can easily calculate the slope to be m equals y1 minus y by x1 minus x. That's the rule of calculating the slope of the line. Now, this m has to be less than or equals to 1 if we are to use the BIA algorithm. Now, the third and final condition for the BIA algorithm to work is that the pixel grid, each and every single pixel of the pixel grid has to be disjoint. That is to say, this pixel and this pixel cannot overlap by any means. So these are the three conditions that we need to satisfy in order to use the BIA algorithm. So how does this algorithm work? Suppose we're given a line that starts at x1, y1, and ends at x, n, y, n. Now if the slope of this line is given by m, we can write m is equal to y, n minus y1 over x, n minus x1. Now we all know the classic slope equation, y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b denotes just how far away the line is from the center of a two-dimensional coordinate system. Now in order to glow the pixels, we choose our first pixel, xi, yi, such that xi equals to x1 and yi equals to y1. Okay. Now, in order to find the next set of pixels, we increment the x value by a certain amount. So xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus, say, del x, and we calculate yi plus 1 equals to mxi plus 1 plus b. So, in other words, we can write this as mxi plus del x plus b, which gives us mxi plus b plus m del x. Now, this much right here can be written as yi, since it's showing mxi plus b. So it's yi plus m del x. Now since this is an integer grid, we can consider del x to be equals to 1. This gives us yi plus m 
equals to yi plus 1. Now, all you have to do is find the round of y i plus 1, okay, to round it up to an integer value, and take the pair xi plus 1 and the round of yi plus 1, and we have our next set of coordinates for the next pixel to glow. Okay? Now we continue this process until our xi plus 1 becomes equal to xn. That is our stopping condition. The round function looks something like this. When I say we take the round of yi plus 1, basically what that means is we take the value of yi plus 1, add 0 0.5 to it, and take the floor value of this value. See? So, suppose we have this line right over here, which we have to draw, which starts from 4, 5, and ends at 7, 7. Okay? So, we can calculate the slope to be m equals 7 minus 4, 5, excuse me, 7 minus 5 over 7 minus 4, which gives us a value of 0 0.67. Okay? Now, we have our initial pixel, of course, as xi equals x1, in this case which is 4, and yi equals 5. So our first pixel is 4, 5. Excuse me. So, this is the pixel that we grow, glow first. So this is the pixel So this is the pixel we glow first. Okay? Now, for the next set of coordinates, we have our xi plus 1 as a single increment of xi by 1. That is to say, xi plus 1, in this case, which gives 4 plus 1 equals 5. And we calculate yi plus 1 to be equal to the previous y value, that is to say yi, plus the value of m, which gives us 5.67. Rounding this up, we would get 6. So our next pixel is 5, 6, which is right over here, and we glow it. Now, for the next pixel, xi plus 2, we again increment xi plus 1 by 1. That gives us 5 plus 1 equals 6. And yi plus 2 comes from yi plus 1, which is 5.67, plus the value of m, 0 0.67, and this gives us 6.34. Rounding this number would give us 6. So our next pixel is 6, 6. Okay? So we glow our next pixel, 6, 6, right here. Now, for the final time, we find our next set of pixels, I mean the, our next set of coordinates, xi plus 3 equal xi plus 2 plus 1, which is 6 plus 1 equals 7, and yi plus 3 equals yi plus 2, which is 6.34, plus the value of m, 0.67, you know what to do, find the value, round it up, and that gives us, obviously, 7. So our next pixel is 7, 7. See? So we glow 7, 7 next. Now, our x value has already reached the value of xn. So this is where we have to stop. That is to say, this is the final pixel that we need to glow in order to draw this line. Okay? And that's it. This is how the basic incremental algorithm works. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.